Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. Um, I'm going to do a couple more questions on solving equations by division. Uh, a couple more of the examples that I did in the notes. Make sure you read all those notes. But um, I'm going to do two more of the examples from those notes that might uh, help you figure a few things out. So I'm going to flip over to my whiteboard. Boink. Um, one of the questions, number two, is negative 4x equals 84. So what that actually means is negative 4 multiplied by some number equals 84. To solve these things, you always find the variable. The variable is x. You look at the coefficient, which is the fancy way of saying the number in front of the x. The number in front of the x is negative 4. That means negative 4 multiplied by x. To solve this, you always do the opposite of what's beside the variable. The opposite of multiply by negative 4 is to divide by negative 4. And whatever you do to one side of an equal sign, you have to do to the other side of an equal sign. So we have to do 84 divided by negative 4. Um, if you're having trouble doing that division, break up the 84. You could break it up into 80 divided by negative 4 plus 4 divided by negative 4. And then do those separately. 80 divided by negative 4 is negative 20. 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. And those two integers will add up to negative 21. So that's what we're going to get. When I do negative 4 divided by negative 4, I get positive 1x equals 84 divided by negative 4 is negative 21. And that's exactly what I want to get. Remember, 1x is the same as saying x equals negative 21. They both mean exactly the same thing. 1x and x are the same thing. Um, you always want to show the value of x or whatever the variable might be. Another example, we don't necessarily have to always have whole number answers. 17 equals 2x. That means 17 equals 2 multiplied by a number. Find the variable. The variable is x. Look at the number in front of the x, or the coefficient, it's 2 multiplied by x. Do the opposite of multiply by 2. The opposite of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. Do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign. Divide by 2. Solve both sides of the equal sign now. 17 divided by 2 is not a whole number, but you can think of it as like an improper fraction. How many groups of 2 fit inside 17? 8 of them do. With 1 left over out of what should have been a group of 2. So you can say 8 and a half equals 2 divided by 2 is 1x. Or a fancier way of saying that, you can just say 8 and a half equals x. Or if you want to get really fancy, you could say 8 and 5 tenths equals x. It's all the same, kids. Um, so those are a couple of more examples of how to solve equations by division. Uh, read over those notes and then complete the assignment I've given you. And when you're done, give a big flex. Uh, hope you're having a good day and uh, talk to you later.